I'm really excited about all of it. It's kind of hard to know what to talk about first, but let's talk about new colors first. So finally I have six new colors in the line. I'm really excited about them. They're earthy, so they're, th this is a swatch of them. And what's good about these is they take the range, you know, I kind of had 1980s Madonna. <laughs> pink and turquoise and you know inspired colors so these add a depth to the line that it didn't have before and I, I love introducing the earthy element back in and they work so great with the colors that already exist so you combine magenta with the eggplant looks fantastic cheddar and the Sedona will die and go to heaven right so the, now we can have this great depth a lot of people are really excited about olive really nice yellow green that because you know before the greens were all quite cool um, evergreen was a, a cool base green. Lime is, you know, neon fluorescent. And so this is a really good um, addition. I find it, it warms everything up. You can see it here. I've used it with lime. And it, it just it gives a really nice depth to the greens, which, which I think we were missing too. So six new colors, which I love, love, love. And then I did do a little swatching of all the blues. I forgot Ocean yesterday and Instagram reminded me, um, you have another blue. Oh my gosh, how did I forget Ocean? My favorite blue of all time. So I squeezed it in there. So this is a representation of all the blue because some people were wondering, um, you know, if they really needed the new ones. We need well, the new yeah. ones. Well, uh, yeah. The, the two new ones have a green base. Um, Peacock and Marine are the two new. You can really see how Knight has a purple um, undercoat, a purple foundation which I think is interesting, uh, but they're just, they're fabulous. So I, I do love my blue. Blue's my favorite color. I just, I really love blue and turquoise and stuff like that. So new paint, so excited. And the heavy body, the new colors will only come in the bottles. Um, we'll eventually phase tubes out. Um, I love the tubes, but a lot of people don't. And it's just, uh, I don't know, the, the great thing about the bottles is that you can see through the, the clear bottle and can really see the color. So I do find it easier to find the color I want with the bottle. Um, before the tubes are gone, remember, <laughs> you can refill these. So not the new colors, but if you have the old ones and tubes, don't forget you can pop this right off. Um, and then I fill them back up. And so do that while you can until they're all phased out. <clears throat> all right, same paint. I get a lot of questions. Is it the same in the tube and in the bottle? Yeah. Same thing, because that's what I like. I want to see this. I want to see a brush stroke in my paint. That's, that's, that to me is happiness. I, I want to see the hand of the artist in the work. So because we got to do six new colors, we also wanted to do new sets of scribble sticks. So people would ask me all year, do you, are you gonna have new scribble sticks? And I'd say, I will if you buy them. <laughs> <laughs> if you buy those, I'll make more. So buy them. And everyone's like, oh, we will, we love them. So I'm so happy to have the second set. So we put in the six colors that we missed before. And then we put in the six new. So no waiting for the new colors. And what's really nice about, about these is again, they blend with the others. They're the non-waxy pigment base stick that will write on slippery things and water soluble. And you know, so many questions. Number one question is, how are these different than distress crayons? And so different. This is more of a drawing medium. They're both, they're both, they're both great. They're both water soluble, but that's about where the, the similarity ends. Um, these will have an opacity to them. If you apply them thick, you know, you take a tag, oh, cheddar scribble stick, hello lover. Um, you color strong, you're gonna have a, a strong, strong opacity to them. They're not gonna have the transparency like a distressed crayon will, um, but if you wet it, it will. A lot of people ask me again if they're permanent, and I just always say, well, I don't know. <laughs> Depends on what you're putting them on. On this, when it's dry, it's gonna be pretty permanent because this is a porous tag. On gesso, though, I could probably keep moving them around. So it depends on how sealed your paper is. But just luscious color. I mean, look at that. Don't you just want to oh, roll around in that? <laughs> so good. So good. It's great for everything. All the, new, all the new deliciousness. So those are new as well. Excited, excited about them. I'm obsessed. One thing I picked up this year is I use the scrubble sticks. If, as you tell your customers too, I do use them wet, in wet and dry mediums. And so if I'm using them on wet paint, I wet the stick. If I'm using them on dry paint, 
I keep the stick dry. Though you can you can wet the stick to make it blur on. Like so, this is dry. If I wanna if I wanna come back on this, I can easily color on it with a dry stick. I can also wet it and get a painted look at the same time. But if this paint were wet, the dry stick does not work. <laughs> so dip your stick in the water and then color wet on wet, and it works really good. Okay, so new sticks are coming out. Excited about those. I love, love, love this. So this I'm obsessed with. These are the new tissue collage. I think we, I keep calling them tissue and people are like, you don't have that. We call it collage paper, I guess. Um, collage paper and then the little collage words packet. So you get an assortment of prints. And I think there are two, I should know this. I think there are two of every print, two of 10 maybe, in, in the assortment. And then you get some blank ones. And we did this thin because those of you that have had class with me know that we're always stamping on tissue wrap, which I love. I love Tim's tissue wrap. We're always stamping on deli paper and tissue and all kinds of stuff. So because these are nice and thin, here, give them a fondle. And they're almost, they're <laughs> almost like, they're almost like glassine. They have a, they have kind of a glassine surface. You can paint them. You can tint them with the scribble sticks, and then they'll disappear when you gel medium in. If your background's light, um, if your background's dark, if I did it here, it wouldn't disappear 100%. But then I could go back with a scribble stick, and I could give it a little bit of a tint and paint it. Like when we did class, probably just didn't disappear all the way because our backgrounds were kind of dark. But here on the tag, yep. it it's pretty much disappeared. And so I like to use my the Dini Wakely gel medium for this tissue because it sticks it perfectly flat. You know, if you have wrinkles in your tissue, you're using the wrong glue, the wrong glue. And it might be a little bit of user error. Uh, <laughs> might be a little bit of a glue application, but listen, I'm a bad gluer. This, this was put on with my finger, the glue. Rub, rub. Um, so I don't have great gluing technique. I'm not one of those ones that makes sure the back is glued properly, then stick glue to glue. Oh no, I just slap it on there. Um, but the, the weight of the glue, I think has more to do with wrinkles. And because the gel medium is so thin, we shouldn't have called it gel, we should have called it matte medium, I guess, because it's pretty much fluid, really. So now we have a new glue, too. And the new glue is ultra thick. Let's see if I can find it where I put it by the end of the day, here it is. So this has the same properties as, oh, that's glazing medium. <laughs> this has the same properties as the, let me look for it. Somebody dig for me while I'm looking. It'll have the same properties of the gel medium, meaning it will dry flexible, it dries matte, it dries um, perfectly clear, um, and you, you know, if you need to get in there with a pen, you can get in there with a pen. Did we find it yet? And I hope it didn't get nicked from me. But it will stick stuff to the fabric, because I was finding my gel medium will not stick anything to the burlap, won't stick anything to the canvas, won't stick a tag, won't stick tag to tag, which is super annoying. <laughs> And so the new thick, you'll have to come back when I find it and put your finger in it. Um, because it's not so, so sticky. It has a, a you know, you, you wipe it off and you're good to go. And it has a little bit of give to it too. So, you know, if I wanted to glue this tag on this page, I would glue it on and I thought, oh, I put it in the wrong spot because that's a Dima thing. <laughs> you know, you have, a, you have a minute or so to kind of slide it where you want it. And then, you're, then it's stuck for, for good. Um, the sample over here with the collage on the bottom, the bottom right, it says, speak your truth. The little straps, uh, pieces of burlap that are on the front, I glued those on with a giant glob of the new glue, and you can't even see the glue anymore. When I put it on, I thought, oh, I really hope I don't know what I'm talking about, and that, 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 that dries like I think it will. Oh yeah, you walk over there, well, that burlap is stuck with that ultra thick gel, and so it really does dry awesome for you. So it's a good, it's a good uh, mix. I just keep both those on my table at all times, and I just stick my finger in them and glue, and. It works awesome. So new big tissues. What's cool about the big printed tissues is um, they can be focal point, they can be background, they can you can crinkle them up and under layers. If you go look at Diane's um, designer challenge, I used my words all around the base of the hat, and then I pa used her paint over them. So they're they're great for under and over layers, and the words I'm obsessed with. Oh my gosh, I need more and I need them bigger. So you know they they give you the prototypes and then you're like. Oh, I really love them, and I want them this big. So it gives me ideas for more um, products. So just fun. These are all things I need to. <laughs> they're very me, the, the saying. So if you ever have suggestions for more, because hopefully people buy these, so I can do way more of these. I, I really enjoyed using those too. So made out of the same stuff. Now what's fun about the collage paper is that we also give you some blank. 
because it's just a cool surface. And listen, if you have a store and people are like, oh, I want to buy deli paper, and you're like, okay, go to Costco, you're sending them out of your store, right? Why? You know, some, some store owners will buy deli paper and package it up. That's awesome, but not all will. So we also give you some blank in that pack. So instead, upsell that pack to them. <laughs> Karen's nodding like, yeah, previous store owner, you know how it goes. Don't send them out of your store. Give, you know, send them to keep, you know, hopefully you can have something on your shelf. And that's our goal too, is that, that you don't want to have them running to Home Depot and have them run into the dollar store to buy tissue and have them running, you know, upsell in your store while they're excited. So this is the clear tissue that I've now used the gel plates on. So blank, blank tissue. You know, you use it like you would all of your thin papers. I've also printed directly on the printed tissue too. It's kind of fun. And when you know when you gel medium that in, it just turns into amazing collage paper too. Um, so I, I like that we give you both the printed and the plain. It's great with the resin, too. So super excited about those tissues. My whole house <laughs> has tissue everywhere. They get stuck to my feet because I have bits everywhere. And then I, I walk around, I walk around my cat, I'm like, what is with my cat? I'm like, there's a piece of tissue stuck to my like, oh, let me get that off. <laughs> so yeah, fondle those, they're really good. Um, I have said before in this venue that I come from a bookmaking background because when I started art journaling back in the day, there were no Dilutions journals, there were no Dino Wakely journals. It was even hard to find a moleskin. Moleskinier. So uh, we made our own, and so uh, we're uh, trying to bring out more things that encourage bookmaking. I, I'm bringing bookmaking back, all these old things that are kind of people forget about um, in, in their cra the craziness of what's new and exciting. Um, there's something so satisfying about taking plain paper and ending up with a book that came from your own hand. And I don't know if it's the English major in me, um, I don't know, but I, I just, to this day, I just love, love, love it. And today I'll be folding little books with the paper here, so come back over and, and take a look at that. Um, so here's a little book that I did with the new collage, uh, not the collage, with the new craft cardstock. So and the and the craft or and the loose watercolor skews. So what's nice about those is it's the same paper substrates that come from the journal, and those small ones are sized exactly for this the original journal. And so if you want to tip in, and they'll tip right in just fine. But they're also great for, the, I always call it the guts of your book, the signatures, the pages of your book. And that craft, if you have not worked with that craft, it is the bomb.com. I mean, just feel it. It's heavy. It, it has a really good surface. I've been printing. I printed on it all day yesterday. It takes printing really well. It takes scribble sticks awesome. Um, it makes colors pop. And I just love, we tried to do an all craft journal and I kicked the prototype back to the factory. I wasn't thrilled with it yet. Hopefully that's coming because that's still a dream of mine. Um, but. This is kind of the next best, best thing. So this is a little book. So this little signature bit, or this accordion bit, is actually the watercolor, the cotton watercolor. And I'll pass this around. You gotta, you gotta touch it. It's a very um, fabricy feeling because that watercolor paper we, we, is 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 recycled and it's fabricy. And I have true watercolorists emailing me, telling me your paper sucks. Um, listen, <laughs> it's very absorbent because it's recycled. And it's handmade, so it's gonna it batch. It'll vary from batch to batch. And for mixed media, it is thebomb.com. So maybe we should have called it media paper or something like that. But for what I use it for, I just can't get enough of it. And I love having the loose sheets, um, card makers, you know, scrapbookers, anything that you want to have loose sheets for, but especially for bookmaking. So I'll pass that around. Little bookmaking. Uh, ideas um, oh so look how cute this binding is so you pop you pop that open and then your pages come out so you can do nested stack signatures as well isn't that fun and then I it, it really holds it good like it's it's in there tight I think that's a great little gift now notice these little clicks so as I started working in the journal too this year I, I was like I need pins I need clips I need little accessories to keep my stuff in um, because I love to use the burlap as a bulletin board and I just clip stuff to it, and I staple stuff to it, and I pin stuff to it. And as a bookmaker, you always need clips too to hold your signatures, right? So we did a we did a couple of little clip packs. Those are coming out as well, and they're just different and cool, and I just love them. So I'll pass that around. Little book, so loose skews of open stock paper. Feel, I'll pass this around too. It's just so fabricy. It just it's just really a different, unique surface. And this is back to my roots because it's what I used to work on back in the day, back when I was a young chickadee. New washi. So the Dina Wakely media tape is different than this. I love the media tape. It is the, the white tape 
and the white, black and white printed tape. The adhesive on that tape is bond, it's strong. It's a little bit stronger than a masking tape adhesive. In fact, it will rip, it'll rip this paper. So if you put my media tape on this and then try to pick it off, paper separates because that, the bond on that tape is pretty strong. Um, this is a little better, or this is more of a washi tape adhesive, but better than regular washi. The only time I've had to, because you know people are like, washi tape sucks. Um, the only time I've had to glue the washi is on the canvas in the burlap. So I was like, oh, I'm going to tip that right onto the canvas, and it just kept popping up. So I, I have had to add glue on anything that's not paper, but I mean, that's not bad. It's not, it really shouldn't pop up on you, something fierce. Um, so fun washi, I, I hope you guys buy these because I want to make more of these too. <laughs> no pressure, but I love these. But, um, fun colors, patterns. I, I sat in my studio for a couple days and I made all these long strips of artwork and sent them into Ranger and they were like, oh. I'm like, just trust me, I love them, I love them. And they just did such a good job at shrinking them down and creating. So all these are actual collages that they created, or that I did, and then they, they turned into tape. So two sets of these. Uh, how many rolls? Five? One, two, three, five-ish <laughs> rolls of tape in the pack. So super excited. Love these. Fun addition for planners, books, journaling, you name it. All of our paper stuff. We, we're all addicted to tape. We never use it. <laughs> I use mine, but we're addicted to it. So tapes are new. I'm so excited about that as well. New stamps and stencils, of course. <laughs> so Steve, the sales, head of the sales guy cracked me up. <laughs> he came up to me and he said, where are they? He said, I want you to explain these. <laughs> <laughs> Threw them down and I'm like, okay. So the English major to me is like composing my essay. I'm like, how do I do write a defense of my crazy stamped images? They're abstract figures, they are, the base, they're tribal, they're primitive, they're abstract, they're the foundation for, for, for painting and making different. And I just, I think the human figure has power. And that's what I'm interested in. I, I like to paint abstract figures. If you came at my house and looked at the paintings on my walls, I've got abstract figures everywhere. Um, I like my goofy serial killer faces. And I like my abstract figures. And so, you know, I just, I had so much fun. Um, creating with those. These are based out of just funky collages that I did. Somebody asked me if this was Ben, Diane's son. I'm like, oh my gosh, no, but it looks like him. <laughs> That's cool, because I love Ben. He's awesome. I had to do some scribbly fishies, some scribbly critters, um, because I'm sco scuba diver and I love the water. So We did some scribbly. These, all of these came right out of my journals. Um, this face is this. So I had to clean it up a bit and take the words out of the face, but uh, that's how I get a lot of my journal, or a lot of my stamped images, is I, and I have the originals for some of the other ones with me as well. This one actually is this one, but she only has one eye, so I flipped her eye over and gave her two eyes. I had complaints from the one eye stencil from before, like, I don't get it. I'm like, well, you put a heart there, you put a word there. So I gave her two eyes this time, but super fun. I think this is great, would be great for cards. And I, you know, I'm a card maker too, and so I just think it'd be so sweet to stamp that, and, a little sweet sentiment and cards and done. That over a painted background, over, you know, do some printing and call it done. And then more abstract figures just drawn with a single stroke as well. Um, abstract and somebody's like, oh, she's got back. I'm like, cool. Yeah. Like me, it's a real body. That's how I look, right? <laughs> um, and then new stencils as well, always, every six months, stamps and stencils. We've got them. This is this is a, every, we always need more. We think we have enough and we don't. And I did some masks and stencil figures. And I'm so excited about these. Lots of possibilities. And so I know they're goofy shaped. That's because I painted them. And then I scanned, and then I took a photo. Thanks. Oh, shoot. And then I scanned them in. And this is, again, your foundation. So you get your basic figure shape, and then it's what you do to the body that makes it look amazing. It's what you put in it. It's what you write in it. It's what you paint around it. It's what you stamp inside of it. So really fun and cool. And what I think one of the most exciting things of the show, for me, for my line, is the giant journal. This truly is a, is a throwback to my roots. When I first met Di, um, when I went to her store to teach, I think it was 2009, I was working in giant handmade books like this from India, and they were so poorly made. They were sewn with like two stitches and they would fall apart, and, but they had cool paper like this, handmade paper, and these were made in India. And she saw this, uh, the prototype sitting at Ranger and she was like, oh my gosh, that's so you. 
And I said, I know, it's just so me. And look, I know it's a lot of real estate. I get it. Um, but I'm so excited about it. So if you're really up for an artistic challenge, it's so fun to have a little more space to work with and play. And remember, this is a journal. This isn't going on your wall. This is where you work out your abstract painting. This is where you get all your stamps colored. I, you know, just, it's, it, this is a place for play. So it just gives you a little bit bigger play, playground. <laughs> so this shows you the difference in size. This is popping apart. So. Yeah. 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 Well, and it goes everywhere with me, and I. It, yeah. Okay. So, he, it, it, this one is the pages. I want to say seven by ten inches, and this one's eleven by fourteen. So quite a bit bigger. Quite a bit. And I just, I mean, am I going to stop using this? Oh no. I'll be using this forever. I love, love, love it. This one's a little less portable. <laughs> Um, but just, just delicious. I mean, just the size. Don't you want to get your hands on it? Oh, so fun. Um, so that's new for this show as well. So make sure you come back and watch demos and um, we'll play with the plates. Diana and I have a co-branded plate this year. We have two, we have four plates actually. One really large one that fits my large journal and her large journal. She was thinking the plate was too small for hers, but she was thinking of the cover of her journal. The pages actually it fits on really good. And then um, we have a set of three. So this is the set of three. This fits the number the number 12 tag, the six by 12 tag perfectly. And then the smaller tag and then the little round one just for kicks and then fun accessories. So if you know, you're know you a shop and people come and buy a plate or you know they own plates, that's when you upsell your accessories. So that's the stuff. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Scrap Time videos here on YouTube so you'll be the first to see all our videos from Creativation. And follow us on Instagram at Scrap Time Photos to see photos straight off the show floor.